Hi guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I've been away so long. Um, I had a couple busy days uh, the end of last week and then over the weekend. So um, today I just thought I'd turn the camera on um, and do a little craft with me, um, if you want to call it that. I am currently um, working on an ephemera pack or an embellishment pack um, to list in my Etsy shop and I'm using a lot of kits um, by Tracy Fox, Love Junk Journals. And today um, I am making, you know, putting together her butterfly or bugs, I think it's the bugs trifold tag. And I thought I would just turn the camera on and bring you guys along with me. So I've already cut everything out. I've scored everything and I've inked everything. So you don't have to watch me do all of that. Um, but I just thought I would um, go ahead and put that together and make it part of um, the embellishment kit that I'm making. So if you haven't seen this kit, I will link um, Tracy's shop below in the description box um, and you can go check it out. She has two, I believe. Um, this is, like I said, the bugs one and then the other one is a really pretty um, flower one, which is actually also gonna be part of the embellishment kit, but I put that one together already. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So when I do the whole flip through of the kit, I will um, show that one. So this is really fun because she has kind of done all of the work for you and me um, and, you know, made all the, the pieces and parts and we just have to kind of cut them out and ink them up, put them together and embellish them if we want. So what we have here, this is the actual base of the um, trifold tag. So as you can see, it just folds up like that and then there's the back. And then this is a long, I, I banged up the corner. I dropped my phone as I was trying to set it up to record. So that corner's a little bent, but that's okay because it won't show. But this is the pocket for the long tag. And then there are, let me move that out of the way for a second. Um, there are two smaller pockets for these two smaller tags. And then this little, it's like just a little side pocket. And I use that for this, which I will add paper to and make a little notebook. And then there are three little bitty envelopes here. And these beautiful little cards fit right inside there for journaling. And I actually, on the backs of all of this, I printed out, um, one of the papers from her attic papers kit. So that's what's on the back of everything. And then there's a belly band which will hold the envelopes down. Yeah, so there are words that come with the kit, but I'm actually using other words from other Tracy kits <laughs> because I already had them cut out and inked up. So um, yeah, so that's that. So let's go ahead and start putting this together. Um, I'm going to start with, what am I going to start with? I think I'll start with this piece, which is the side tuck pocket. Make sure I stay in frame here. And I always put that on the very first page here, just kind of right in the center. So I'm going to glue that down. I'm just using um, Cosmic Shimmer today. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use my art glitter glue because this bottle is getting kind of low and it's going to be um, more of a pain to try and get the glue to come out. So let's use art glitter glue today. So I hope everyone had a great weekend. Um, I got to see my mom and my dad twice and I got to see my grandma. So we celebrated Mother's Day on Sunday because my mom was out of town um, visiting my sister on the actual day of Mother's Day. <laughs> so we went to dinner yesterday with my grandma and my mom and dad and that was really nice. And on Saturday, I got to go to a Cincinnati Reds game with my mom and dad and that was fun as well. Um, and, my, and my husband, we, we all went. <laughs> 
so we had we had a busy weekend but we had a really fun weekend um, it was really nice oh I went to a rummage sale Saturday morning um, at a church near our house and that was very productive um, I got a lot of neat things they had they had a lot of neat stuff um, I got a ton of embroidered linens and some lace um, fabric and what else did I get some books I got some old old games one of them was um, Yahtzee and the, the papers inside are just a beautiful color um, because it's kind of old and then I got a, um, a bingo game and the, the cards in there are really nice too um, let's see what else did I get I can't remember now there were just oh lots of lots of jewelry um, to kind of take apart um, which is always fun <laughs> so yeah it was it was a very fun weekend I don't usually do that many things in a row <laughs> I kind of a homebody and I I stay home a lot but and I wasn't able to craft at all so um, so yeah I'm happy to get back to that because this is kind of my my happy place right all right so there we go that is all glued down and ready for this which we will do in a minute kind of want to get all the base pieces um, glued down here and then we can um, go from there so I'm going to put the belly band on this side I believe oh yeah look at that it kind of matches up Oh, if I put it over to the side, do you see that? See how it says uplifted there in the middle? And this says the uplifted gates. If I line that up right, it won't be centered, but it actually works. Oh, it works down here too. Huh. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do it that way. I've never done it that way before, but I kind of like it. I kind of like it like that so let's do that all right so how I do this is because you want to make sure that you have space for all three of the little bitty envelopes to tuck underneath so this was actually Tracy's idea so this was not um, I did not come up with this myself but what she does because these fit perfectly inside the envelopes is she kind of lays these out and spaces them where she you know where she thinks she's gonna want the envelopes to go. So I'm trying to make sure, I'm gonna move my camera a bit here because it's, there we go. Sorry about that guys. I just wanna make sure that I'm in frame for you. All right, so I just kind of space these out where I think I want them. You don't have to worry you know, too much. You just wanna make sure that you have enough space for them all to fit. And then I find a pencil and mark a line kind of right in the center of that space. And then I don't really mark the top and bottom because I, I'll just put it as close to the edge as I can. But then I know exactly where to put my line of glue. So we'll do the one at the top here. And then one here. And one here. And one at the bottom. Oh, my glue just decided to start like, exploding out of there. That's fun. Okay, where did my pin go? Oh, here it is. <laughs> All right, and then we will bring this back here and see if we can't line this up with words that are already here at least somewhat there yeah, I think I did pretty good all right so then once that dries we can tuck those envelopes under there so we'll let that dry and then on this side we have the two little pockets and the large pocket here and then when you fold it up you'll have that belly band so 
let's go ahead and glue this. Let's do the bottom one first. I don't think it matters which one, but we'll do this one first. Oops. So I'm just going to kind of line that up in the center and sort of close to the bottom here. I always use this. I have this just like dinky, you know, plastic ruler. And I always use that just to make sure I'm not gluing the whole pocket down on the inside. Because <laughs> I have done that before accidentally. And that's no fun. All right. So there's that one. And then, oh, it looks like I crushed this side too. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to put my camera in my little clampy thing that I have set up, you know, to hold it over my desk and I just completely dropped it. <laughs> this one, if I remember correctly, you need to get pretty close so it doesn't stick out top here. There we go. So I just kind of line it up with these, you know, straight edges here. It's just a tad over. Um, and then that way you have space to tuck your tag in here and then this tag won't stick out the top. So I'm loving making this embellishment slash ephemera kit. Um, I've not done that before. Um, but it's kind of my favorite part of making journals is, you know, decorating all the bits and pieces. So I thought, well, why not just spend some time doing that? And, um, you know, and then maybe for someone who doesn't enjoy that part so much or for someone who, you know, doesn't have access to all the beautiful um, printable kits and stuff, and then they, you know, could have that already made and then it would be ready to put into a blank journal. So that was kind of my idea. And I, I, I love, I think all of Tracy's kits go together. I honestly, um, I don't, at least the ones I have, I mean, obviously I don't have them all. I wish I did cause they're all gorgeous. Um, and maybe someday, but I think all the ones I have, I was, you know, just pulling them out and, you know, looking at them and, and um, putting them together, they they kind of all go together. Um, so yeah, I did not have a problem with that at all. So I've just I've been having fun just mixing and matching a lot of her a lot of her kits together. So yeah, it's been fun. I have quite a little quite a little pile of stuff. It's probably going to end up being, you know me, I always go overboard. So it's probably going to be enough uh, to fill a couple journals for, you know, a person that doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't stuff their journals, um, you know, to the breaking point like I do. <laughs> but I think it'll be, um, yeah, I think it'll be good. So I'm just going to put this tall pocket here. Again, just kind of line it up so that it's centered and kind of even with the straight edge at the top here, these little middle pieces. Okay, my trusty ruler here. Oh, and I wanted to say a huge thank you. Oh my gosh, I, over the weekend, or it was probably before the weekend, but since the last time I filmed anything, um, I hit 300 subscribers and I'm so excited, guys. Um, yeah, so I wanted to say a huge thank you to all of my subscribers, new and old. <laughs> um, thank you so much. I'm just beyond thrilled that you guys are enjoying 
what I'm doing. So I will probably have a little giveaway in the near future. Um, I don't know, you know, exactly when or what or any of that, but it will happen. So keep an eye out for that. I'm going to go ahead and glue up my little envelopes here. Um, but yeah, I was just, I was so excited. And thank you to Tracy for, she has been, um, this month, she does a challenge every month on her Facebook page. And this month it was to go out and find small YouTube channels with less than a hundred subscribers, which I just think is, is just so nice of her to, you know, to think of that. It's just very kind because, you know, we all know what it's like to be starting out and you only have, you know, 10, 20, 30 subscribers. And it's, it feels so awesome when the, that number just keeps, you know, kind of going up and up and up. And that's kind of what, what happened. And her channel has just, or her Facebook page has just been exploding with, um, people, you know, promoting these smaller channels. And I've been going on, you know, like every day and just making sure I'm not missing any. And I've been subscribing to all of them. And in that, what is just a, like a, a byproduct of that, um, I have had a lot of those people then, you know, subscribe back to my channel. Um, so it has just been, it's been really fun. Um, I think it's, it's amazing. And so thank you, Tracy, for, for doing that. I think that was, um, that was a really awesome thing. <laughs> I like that this community helps each other out. It, it just, um, yeah, it's, it's really just awesome. Just awesome. I've said that before, but I'll keep saying it because it's true. Um, everybody in this community just, you know, is so kind and um, supportive. And that's, you know, that's awesome. That is awesome. So yeah, okay, I'll, I'll stop gushing about that. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I just, you know, you saw what I did there. Just, just glued those envelopes together, super easy. Like I said, she's done all the work you know, all you have to do is cut it out and I just, it's so nice. And it just creates this really gorgeous little thing when you're done. So, all right. I think that is all of the, the big gluing. So I'm just getting the glue off my hands, guys. Sorry. Um, while that is all drying, I am going to put that aside. Um, go ahead and make this little notebook. So I pulled out just some um, scraps of tea dyed notebook paper that I had. And I'm just gonna first, let's see, we'll fold that in half and see where we are size wise. Oh, it's actually like perfect height wise. And we just need to trim the edge. So let's figure out where we wanna trim that. Actually, I'll probably just use my tear ruler out here. Let's just do it. We don't need to mark it. Let's just do it. I just want to make sure it's not sticking out the back too much or out the side too much here. And it looks fairly straight. All right, here we go. And then I'm going to round those corners because the corners are rounded on the little cover. There we go. And then that will just go right in there. And then we'll just have a little, little place to write. So I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and sew this in um, with some Baker's twine. Let me grab my... And I'm gonna poke the holes and it's gonna be very, um, just by eye. So <laughs> hopefully this will work. I'm just gonna take a guess.
I'm gonna cover the outside anyway probably with some lace or trim or something so that's fine all right that out of the way I'll find my needle here <laughs> All right. And you could sew, I've done it before where I've just used my machine and um, sewn right down the middle of the, you know, of the signature <laughs> or the little booklet, um, which is fine. But, you know, this is super easy when it's this, you know, few pages. I say that, but watch something will probably go wrong <laughs> all right if I can find the hole here all right let's that out of the way. Hopefully I won't catch that twine again. And I think I did okay. All right, there we go. That was easy. And then we'll just tie that a knot in the middle there. cut that so it just leave a little bit in there I don't know I like that okay there's that so we have our little little notebook and then um, I'm gonna add sorry I have glue everywhere I'm gonna add these come with the the kit as well um, there's little layering pieces for the words to go on. So there's a, a smaller set and a bigger set. And I think I'm gonna use, well, maybe not, well, hmm. Nope, I'm gonna use a smaller set. I think that'll look better on there. And maybe we'll do it right in the middle this time. And I think I'm gonna add some um, tea stained cheesecloth underneath there. Me better scissors for that. Just kind of cut a piece here. You know what? I'm gonna put something on the the um, spine first, but let's cut this down so it's ready. way too big but we'll we'll trim it after it's on there um, what do I want to put on the spine let's I know it's gonna cover up that cheese well or the Baker's twine I don't know do I want to add something or not you know what I'm not going to this time sometimes I do sometimes I don't so this time I think I won't I think the other one the flower one I I did add something to the spine, but I think this one will just leave it like it is. And then I'm just gonna make sure I put plenty of glue on here so that it will catch that cheesecloth and hold it down. And then I have a couple words here. Um, I've got field notes, which we could put in the middle there, or I have 
notebook. Hmm, I think, I think I'm gonna go with notebook because it's a little bit smaller. Cute, cute. I like it. All right, and then I will trim up the cheesecloth here because we do not need that much. All right, so there is our little notebook. Super cute, right? <laughs> All right, I like that. So we'll set that aside to dry. And then let's go back to our main piece here. I think I want to put, do I want to put this on the front, maybe? Um, I always do something different. Sometimes I put them you know, sometimes I put them here and I might do that actually this time um, because the front has a lot going on and there's nothing in this particular area. And I'll probably use the word butterfly there on that one. something behind that. I have all of these little bits over here on the side that I have cut out. Um, most of them are from Tracy's tiny embellishments and playing cards kit. The, these just are so adorable. <laughs> I mean, look at these little itty bitty flashcards. I mean, come on. <laughs> And these little postcards, I just, oh my gosh, I've been super, like, dorky about that kit. I just love it. But I cut out, I cut out the whole thing. I've used some of it so far. I'm just looking over here to see if there's anything um, that I can put behind there. I also have um, these from the one inch um, discs kit that she did. And maybe, maybe one of those might look cute. Let's see, there's one with butterfly. Um, let's use, let me look at here. All right, so these, if you print them out at 100%, um, they are perfect for your one hole punch, or one hole, <laughs> your one inch <laughs> punch. So I'm gonna cut out a couple here and see which ones I like better. Because we also have just some um, sort of plain, plainish, <laughs> plainish ones um, as well. So let's see what we like. Uh, let's see, I'll ink them up real quick. All right, so let's see what we like here. If anything, this might just not even be a thing. I might just on this one kind of offset it. No, I don't really like that, but I do. I do kind of like that. I don't know. It just gives it something a little different. 
Hmm. Yes. No. You know what? All of that, and I think I've changed my mind. So I'm going to add some lace here instead. <laughs> that went in a totally different direction, didn't it? Oh my. <laughs> oh my. Yep, that's how my brain works, guys. But I might use those still, so I'm just gonna sit them over there. I'm gonna ink up this lace just a tad. So it's kinda, kinda white. All right. Just gonna kind of put that on diagonally here just for something different there all right kind of like that because the tag that's gonna go in there this one I am going to punch a hole with my crocodile uh, let's see we're gonna do the three sixteenths and I'm just going to eyeball this for the most part. And I've got my little, <laughs> I got some little trinket boxes at Hobby Lobby that were on clearance. Look how cute this is. It's a little macaroon guys. <laughs> so I put my, my eyelids in there. <laughs> so let's use, hmm, let's do a, like a doll. Uh, gold if I can if, if I can um, get it out of here there we go all right whoops and oh I did not do that very well let's try again A little loose I don't know why but it's okay because we are just gonna add some lace here I know this is way too big but I'll trim it after I get it in here I wonder why that's so loose. That's really weird. I've never had that happen before. I always use the same settings and everything. That's really strange, but it's, I mean, it's not going to come out. It's just, it kind of twirls around in the hole, but whatever. I think it's fine. I'm going to add anything to that because I don't want this to get, you know, I mean, it's already going to be kind of bulky, um, you know, just because it's already got like a quarter inch spine here. So I don't want it to get too crazy, but I am going to add, and I did this on the other one, um, make sure I'm in frame. I added some of this, um, blingy stuff. To the tops of those tags. So let me cut it down here. I just like the way that looks at the top there. I like that a lot. Let's see, I think we'll use, um, I'm gonna put 
pin back in that, and I think I'm going to use some Fabri-Tac just to help hold this down a little better. I like how that looks. See that? It just adds a little something there. There we go. All right. And then this one. There we go. So those will just. maybe <laughs> slide right in there and then that bling sticks out the top I like that and as you can see I did a decent job of putting that pocket far enough down so that my tag doesn't stick out yay <laughs> all right I feel like these are a bit plain so I am going to decorate those so our notebook goes in here and I always I just put the back cover page in there so that it doesn't have to you know be so strained and that'll that'll relax I know right now it just looks like it's not gonna but it will and then we have our little bitty cards for our envelopes look how cute those are oh my gosh <laughs> So cute. And those just slide right under, hopefully. Hopefully, come on. You can do it. There we go. There's one, two, and three. That and we have this done, and I just want to do something here, and I think I might use these guys. What do you think? I like that. Just something. Okay, so I think I think I like that. I'm going to. Do I want to put anything underneath at all? Um. I have lots of, lots of bits and stuff here. Hmm. I could do that, or I have more of the lace uh, that we could do something with here. Maybe cut it cut it down a little bit. Yeah, I like that. nice and then maybe this one I'm gonna pull this tag out here for a second and look at this maybe this one we could do a little differently light here oh I like that Oh, I like that. Okay, so let me hold it up a bit so you can see what I did there. I really like that. Very happy with that. All right, so I think that does it. I think 
we have pretty much finished that up. Look at that. How cute. And I love how the, the little lace hangs out the top so it looks like a tag. And I might add... I might add a way to close this. I'm just not sure yet. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, I could add, okay. Yep, let's do that. Um, let's take these out so I don't smash anything. I will add a piece of seam binding here. top of it. Hmm. I mean, I don't have to. I just kind of looks nicer. Um, let me look here. How is this? This wise. Yeah, I'm going to use this one here. It is quite possible. Yep, hold on. <laughs> that is upside down. <laughs> I think I can't read the words, but I'm pretty sure that that's right side up. Okay. Hold that down for a second. There. Now we have a little closure. All right, I keep thinking of things I wanna do. I just bought, I just got them in the mail over the weekend and I haven't even used them yet. Um, the Wink of Stella um, little glitter brush pens. And I'm thinking I might, cause I've got this gold color. They're these, just these, yeah, Wink of Stella. Um, I'm thinking I might want to add just a little bit of shimmer. I'm trying to think where I want to do it. Maybe, hmm, I was thinking just along the butterfly bodies a little bit. That. Oh wow, guys, that's fun. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so can you see that at all? I'm not sure if that's gonna pick up in the camera, but I like that a lot just added a little bit of um, shimmer there. Very cool. All right, I like that a lot. So I'm gonna have to let that dry, so I'm not gonna be able to show it to you completely um, tied up, but <laughs> there we have it. There is our trifold tag. All right, all right guys. Well, thank you for coming along and crafting with me today. Um, I will be back soon, um, if not very soon. Um, I might do another little craft with me while I'm making this embellishment kit. I'm not sure yet. Um, so, um, yeah, I hope you all have a fantastically blessed day, and I will see you next time. Bye!